This is a live look from downtown Birmingham here at 517 PM. We're looking north up toward a very strong thunderstorm just north of the Jefferson Blunt County line in uh, eastern Walker, southern Cullman County and uh, the western part of Blunt County. A severe thunderstorm warning in effect. New severe thunderstorm warning also just issued for eastern Marion and Winston County for some slow moving thunderstorms that may start to get a kick of speed here within the next a couple of hours. But as of right now, these things are creeping along at a speed only of around 25 to 30 miles per hour right here along Interstate 65 near the Jefferson Blunt County line. So we're talking uh, near the Hayden exit. Uh, there's you see smoke rise right there. That's Highway 31 going up toward the north. Uh, this is Highway 160 uh, right there close to the Traditions Bank that sits off of Interstate 65. Severe thunderstorm here on Skyline Drive, Old Stouts Road. That's coming right up over toward Echo Trail, Old Hayden Road, and of course Hayden High School uh, back up in this direction. This is coming right up 160 towards you. If you know someone who's traveling right now may not be really paying attention to the weather, if they're anywhere close to Western Blunt County on I-65 or along Highway 160, or even Highway 31 from Smoke Rise up toward Bangor and Blunt Springs. Now would be the time to just pull over and let this thing get past. It means business. Very strong wind gusts could be knocking trees down on the road here. 65 as well as Highway 31, Highway 160. And then there's also the potential for some sizable hail within the storms that we have out there this afternoon. Let's go up the uh, highway just a little bit here. You can see 65. There's the Highway 31 exit. Then we'll cross over the Cullman County line right here. So Cullman County all also under a severe thunderstorm warning. Prospect Mountain sits right there. Stouts Mountain is right over here. So we've got uh, this uh, intense thunderstorm that's over Misty Harbor right now, close to Cold Springs High School, tracking right up Highway 69 in the direction of Dodge City. So additional strong to severe storms here across Coleman County, where we do not need more storm damage. We've had so much over the past few days that uh, it's just going to add insult to injury. But the good news for the city of Coleman, this stays to the south of Coleman, but it will affect parts of Good Hope and uh, over toward uh, White City and Hansville. Strong storm right here, getting very, very close to the city of Hansville, Garden City, and then out over Stouts Mountain here for the next uh, 30 to 45 minutes. A very strong storm. I'm going to put one big storm track on this for you, and uh, we'll keep track of where it's headed. Uh, we've got the storm that's near Bremen, and then another cell, the one that's uh, just north of Warrior right now, and all this is tracking toward the east between 25 and 35 miles per hour. So Aniana would be one of the next spots in line for this. Close to 6 o'clock, Cleveland about 556, Locust Fork at about 539. So there's our storm that's on top of I-65 right now. Another storm that is severe, potentially producing large hail and damaging straight line winds. Up to 60 miles per hour right on Highway 278, approaching Delmer and Winston County Natural Bridge. This one's staying a little bit south of Haleyville, and it's tracking down toward Poplar Springs, uh, the south end of Double Springs, and then down around Nauvoo, especially the north side of Nauvoo, just up into Winston County. In Birmingham, we've got a few showers developing at the moment, a few more developing around Fayette, but the big picture will show you that this is not the only game in town. We've got other scattered thunderstorms across the state. Some of these could be severe through the rest of this afternoon and this evening, and keep in mind, a severe thunderstorm watch is in effect until 8 p.m. for all of the counties that are highlighted in purple here. That includes St. Clair, Calhoun, Etowah, Blunt, Coleman, Walker over toward Fayette and then points north of there. Jefferson County not under that watch at this moment, but we could still have some active weather later on this evening. Tomorrow, another impact day. We'll have scattered heavy thunderstorms, a high close to 90. Scattered storms will continue Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Highs in the mid 90s, then a bit drier toward the middle part of next week. You're watching WVTM 13 News.